What's going on boys and girls? Welcome to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. Um, treating myself to a refreshing old Milwaukee on this, uh, this beautiful hot, hot night. Now, I am going to be doing some reviews on... It's time. It is that time. To be doing my reviews on my Milwaukee tools. Um, this was the first set of Milwaukee I bought. It is uh, 2598-22. I bought it at the tail end, I believe somewhere late December of 2017. So we'll say we have them two and a half years. Use them mostly every day at work um they're the 12 volt milwaukee gen 2 fuel quarter inch hex driver and hammer drill um the difference between these and the gen 1 is i think both of the tools lost one inch off the end of it and something that I know nothing about but gen 1 apparently on the hammer drill in order to lose a little bit of that length was they had a separate ring collar for the hammer and drill mode and some people I guess most people didn't like that um, that it went down to just a single collar now me personally it hasn't been too bad, though I will say, sometimes it does slip over. Um, so that's probably why. Uh, and it's not, not really from bumping it or anything, but the thing with a smaller hammer drill is there's only much so much space for your hands to be on it. Now, another complaint I heard was there's no handle. I get it, but it's a 12-volt tool you push on the back like a man you know um that's just a joke but that hasn't been an issue because it actually it works so well that on this pushing on the back is not not hard to just get up on there and and go like that and some people say the clip gets in the way but it's actually as you can see it is flush with the back um so for me it doesn't really get in the way i don't use clips i could probably take them off but they don't get in my way and um they're useful to have when you actually do need them now the original set did come with two batteries they are not the batteries that are on it but the same stylings but this came with a four amp hour and this came with a two amp torpedo not them specifically but you know what i mean now the kit i originally bought i believe is like 229 dollars um you know it was my first go into milwaukee and to be honest with you i was coming from the rigid 12 volts which actually are pretty nice little 12 volt set never gave me any troubles um but these things just they perform they perform so well for what i do which is apartment maintenance um there's one thing about this is i know i'll catch some hell for it but i don't care i started with this brand batteries tools everything no issues you know these things have lasted me well i never had any issues with batteries or you know just stupid little annoyances and as we dig into my reviews on the milwaukee's i'm going to bring up some of those annoyances on certain tools these ones in particular like i mentioned this right here the uh selector collar it does mess up on you a little bit and some people might complain that 
the torpedo in handle style battery makes it you know the grip big and awkward but to be honest with you i mean it 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 feels pretty good in my hand um and i don't have big hands i do not um but i really like like the grip now in terms of the quarter inch hex impact driver this was i believe the first generation i'm just i'm just speaking from what i heard but it only had two speeds i believe this has four so you got self tap one which is great for like electrical work like if you're doing outlets and switches and stuff two a little more delicate you know but heavier and then you got three so the impact is um two five five three two zero twelve volt it is um 3300 ripples per minute and 4000 impacts per minute the nice thing about the milwaukee gen 2 impact is you can do delicate work with it like a 12 volt tool but if you gotta go balls deep into something it's got the power to sink like you know eight inch timber locks or you know some other bigger fasteners it's not going to be an 18 volt power but for like my ryobi tools it'll get a little slower but it'll do the same as their impacts do um and this is fantastic both of these are very good for like cabinetry work because you can get into tight spaces i you know like one thing about ryobi is they do have the bigger huge stuff and doing installing cabinets and stuff can be a little trickier the over the uh stove microwaves and stuff um getting in the cabinet to get the four screws in can be a little complicated with something like this and i have done it it just takes some some thinking and tinkering uh, the LED lights on the Milwaukee's, um, they're, they're all right. They're not great. I don't like the color of them and they don't, they don't brighten up the space too much. It's nice that they stay on. Like you could tap the, the trigger and they stay on. Also you get the fuel gauge. Now that's genius on Milwaukee because it's nice it is nice that's always there but what if you just have a b battery sitting around and you're you're on a job site and you know sometimes things get thrown around you don't know which ones are charged then the inconvenience is you gotta put it in the tool put the tool on and figure out what you have now i know for most people that's probably not a big factor but for me it's a little bit of an inconvenience so like i said the uh the lights um not not the best i i just uh when the the 12 volt hilties i have with the two lights at the bottom that absolutely is the best ray of light when you're working on stuff um and actually, to be honest with you, the rigids with the built-in trigger just to turn on the light in the handles is genius as well. Um, so to sum it up, like any tool, they have their corks, but they get the job done. And for me, 12 volt is really where it's at. So like... This really is, has been my main hammer drill at work for the last two and a half years. Um, that's mostly what I use. Um, and, you know, when I go into, what, what, where it really shines is, yes, you can go into slabs of concrete into the floor. 
it doesn't do too great at that but it does do it i'd rather have an sds hammer drill handling that type of task but it shines in exterior walls you know if you have cabinets going up there it really just eats through that stuff um, very well so that is what i usually use and when i have to bust out the 12 volt milwaukee sds which isn't that often i do um as for the hex driver uh you can see it you know it's got a little wear and tear it is definitely does get used um quite a bit now i will say i bought the 18 volt surge and the 12 volt surge i'm not not in love with the 12 volt surge it's not bad um definitely nice to handle a lot of tasks um but it still struggles in some areas with power obviously that's just how it's built which is fine um, but the 18 volt surge is just it's been fantastic it's a, pretty much at just as short as that same with, it's just as short as the 12 volt surge also just you know has a longer handle but the 18 volt surge impact which i will review later um is what i've i've really been enjoying using so i just wanted to give you guys a rundown of my experience with these and i'll i'll just say it's been great i really enjoy these tools um even though i pointed out some you know some small little things they don't override how well the the actual tools uh perform but maybe it's something that um you know would annoy you so i just wanted to give a heads up on those um and the collar on this uh you know it, it it's very positive when it locks um it does stick sometimes though sometimes this kind of locks and i gotta take a, a pair of pliers to it or something um selector switch not too bad this is uh we got here so this one is um 2504-20 is 0 to 450 rpms in speed 1 and 0 to 1700 rpms in speed 2 which is pretty much on your um budget drills and it, you know that that's that's some good power so bare tools i think right now for the drill is 119 and for the impacts 129 it might be lower right now actually and i think the kit right now for these two uh in the four amp hour battery and the two amp hour battery is 199 dollars at home depot definitely go out that if you're interested in it go out look around at prices because there's deals everywhere also one last thing it is a quick load um bit is not a quick release but you can just go like that uh so it's one-handed operation and has very you know small it's great it's absolutely great I, I love these tools i'd recommend them um so that's it that's my review uh i appreciate you guys watching i'd like you to uh you know get subscribed comment share this out uh and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Later.